Hi, Sue Wilson. I'm here with one of the Industrial Chic Christmas cards. I know it's a little different, but it's quite a fun card too. I'll show you what we'll be using in today's video. We have the Here Comes the Santa. Isn't it cute? You have the little cog in the O. We also are using the Flying Santa from the Industrial Chic Collection. And we're going to be using the Sunrise Mask to make our background. Okay, and I think that's where I'll start. I've taped the Sunrise Mask onto a piece of black card, and I like to tape all the way around the edge just so that I can get a nice clean margin. So we are going to be using some pixie powders for today's video. I've got Midnight Blue, uh, Purple Violet, and Aqua Lagoon. Okay, so what we're going to do is just start with any of the colors, and we're going to tap it all around the mask. You want to get into all these little rays and just go up and down, getting a little bit of that pixie powder in there. And you can see there's not a lot of color that comes from the powder, but when it hits the black card, you see a little bit more of the color than you do on white, but wait till we get this all ready. It is absolutely spectacular. And don't worry that you get the powder on some of the mask. That's not a problem. Okay, so get it all in there. Okay, so that's the blue one. We'll do the Aqua Lagoon next. Just sort of get it into areas where you've maybe missed it with the blue. And really up into those really tight corners there. And you don't want to squeeze these because you'll have way too much powder come out. It is a very, very highly pigmented powder, so it doesn't actually take a, a, an enormous amount to um, achieve the results you want. So you don't want to waste it. And into those last couple of rays. There we go. And the purple violet last. This one sort of has a little bit of the colors that comes out. You can kind of sort of see just, just a little bit of a purple tinge to it, especially when it hits the black card. You want a nice even coverage all the way through the mask. I think we've got very good coverage. Now, if you want, you can look back through and see if maybe there's a few little spots that need a tiny bit more. Go ahead and add them in. I think that looks really good. Okay, so now we're going to bring in just a spritzer bottle with water and we're going to give it a spritz. So watch the magic. Those pixie powders just burst into color with the water. They're so beautiful. That is looking lovely. Really, really like that. Now, you can let this dry naturally, which is what I prefer to do, or if you're on a little bit of a time crunch, you can bring in a heat tool and dry it a little bit like this, okay? Or you can also use a piece of kitchen roll and just sort of dab some of the extra water up. You'll get a little bit of curling anytime water hits card. So sometimes it's nice to even uh, tape your card all the way to your workspace. There we go. I think I can probably have a reveal. I've probably taken off enough water there. So what we're going to do is just peel back our tape carefully. And I usually tape opposite sides first. And then when you get to the third side, you need to hold the mask down very carefully as you take off that piece. Oops get the rest of that. There we go. Now, um, this is another thing I like to do. If you have a um, concern whether you've hit all the areas or not, hmm, there we go, you can lift this up and check it and then it's got the last piece on there so you can use it like a hinge. But that looks really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. I've got a little bit of water here. I'm going to put my mask in there because you don't want the pixies to dry on there. It makes it too hard to clean. So we can do that later. And our last piece here. 
Now, if you want, you can let that sit and dry naturally. You can also, if you want it to be a little softer, you can go ahead and add a little more water in and just let those sort of move a bit. It's totally your call at this point. I have one that I've done earlier, so I'm gonna pop that to the side and let me just clean my work surface because those pixie powders are really highly pigmented. So just a little drop of that powder gives you so much color, so you don't want to contaminate your work surface at all. So now I'm going to bring in a piece of backing card that's black and the one that I've done earlier. So I've added a little bit of mounting foam to this, so I'm going to peel it off and we're going to place this in the top of the card. Just like that. There we go. And I've done a backing and I want to have a little bit more dimension on that as well. So I've added a little more mounting foam. I've gone ahead and used a paper piercing ruler around the edge on my white layer. And I've added a thin black mat just to kind of tie in those colors. We'll pop that into place. There we go. My sentiment has been cut in some white gloss card. So I'm just going to use a little bit of spray glue on the back of this. We are going to center that right at the bottom here. Just looks so cute right there. And to add the main attraction here, I've gone ahead and cut one of the flying sandas in black and I've done another one in white gloss card. So I'm going to offset this one on the top, create a little bit of a reverse shadow. Just lay it down ever so slightly to one side. There we go. And I've got a little bit of mounting foam on the back here already. So let's peel that off. And we're going to place him right in the corner of our card. There we go. And there you have it. Quick and easy and a lovely, lovely industrial chic Christmas card. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Don't forget our YouTube channel is full of so many more videos for you to watch.